Creating a report template is quite easy with Whisper Reporter. All we'll do is the same thing we did when we created a regular report. We'll start by clicking the book with a plus sign up at the top. Here's where, once again, where Whisper asks what type of template you want to start from. If you want to create a new template, you still need some type of starting place, uh, we, or at least we recommend that, unless you're starting from scratch. Um, it's always a better thing to start from a existing template. Um, I think there's less work involved in doing it that way. So what you'll do is you will choose the template you want to start from and instead of letting Whisper define the dynamically generated report number, you'll come down below and set up a new report number which will actually become the name of your template. So we could choose something like that. We click OK. And like before in the previous tutorial, you'll see that we have a new report now. It's called New Template instead of a report number. And to make it an actual template, all we then have to do is to click on the book with the magnifying glass, which will show us the list of created uh, reports that we have in the database, along with any templates that are in the database. And here we are, we're right on the report we just created. I'm going to right click on this and then left click on template, which will mark it as a template. All templates are indicated by the fact that they're underlined. I simply then click OK. We're in that template. Now if I want to, um, well actually at this point what you would do is you'd walk through your whole template, uh, chapter by topic, whatever, uh, setting it up the way you want each report to start off each time you begin a new report. And um, after you've done that, you're ready to create a report from your template. All you would do at that point would be click a book with the plus sign like we've done in the past to create a new report. And then we'll find your new template, which should be called new template. And let's see here. There it is right there. We lock that in. We click, as you see down here at the bottom, we're going to generate a new report number with that uh, date and sequence number on it. I'll click OK. And now we've created that report based on your new template. And that's how you leverage off previous work that you've done so you don't start from scratch each time. OK, well that concludes uh, the brief tutorial on how to create a new template. Uh, thanks for watching.